David was trying to avoid reflections in his glasses and ended up compromising by placing his studio lights laterally. The problem is that the front of his face, the money area, ended up a bit too dark. Luckily, this problem can be easily fixed using Adobe Premiere Pro. So to fix David's face, we're going to go to Effects and then we're going to look for Lumetri. And under Color Correction, we'll find the Lumetri Color Filter. We can drag and drop that to the clip, either on the window or directly to the clip. And now we can click on Basic Correction and adjust the exposure. But as you can see, that affects the entire image. So the trick is to create a mask. Just click on the little ellipsis button and that automatically creates a mask. And now we're just going to place the mask in the right location and adjust its shape so it just covers the dark area on David's face. Okay. And we're going to add a little bit of feathering to blend the mask with David's face like this. And we can turn it on and off now to see the difference. So maybe this is a little bit too bright. We can turn the exposure down a little bit like that. That looks more realistic. And that's pretty much it, except that David is going to move around. So we would have to animate almost frame by frame the position of the mask to follow David's face. But there is a trick in Premiere that is mind blowing. All you have to do is go to mask and click the play button and it will automatically track David's face and move the mask accordingly. So click on the button and see the magic happen. Bang. And we're done. How amazing is this? Look at how the mask is perfectly following David's face. We can click away and see the result. It can be a constant strain on balancer, gradually wearing it down and slowing its response time. Wow. Let's take 5.1 seconds of silence to express our gratitude to the ingenious minds behind this amazing technology. <laughs>